Dr. Vishnu, let's talk about bunions. Um, and, you know, um, maybe how they come about a little bit, but most importantly, of course, how to fix them. Uh, even though I personally know how to fix a bunion, um, I have learned that from my father. Um, he, uh, uh, he bought a new shoe, and the first thing was uh, going and putting a hole into that shoe, and, uh, you know, his bunion came out, and uh, that was it. There was no problem with it. So uh, I, I wonder whether there's any more techniques out there. If not, just say no, and the video is done. Uh, we, we, we're good. <laughs> right. Well, um, with the expense of the shoes today, I don't think it's a great idea to just put holes in your shoes. So um, bunions. What are they and how do we get them? Um, bunions are hereditary. Uh, they, they're genetic. It's, it's basically because of the way you walk. When you walk a certain way, the tendons and joints move out of alignment, and that's all hereditary. So then the big toe then shifts over to the second toe, and this bone here called the metatarsal shifts outward. So now you have a deviation in the big toe joint. So why is that a big problem? Besides the fact that um, it doesn't look nice. Um, the joint is no longer moving properly. It's not moving straight up and down. It's moving at an angle. And by moving in a circular angle, it's causing damage to the joint. Just think about it. When you get out of bed in the morning, the first step you take is with your foot. But the first thing that moves in your foot is your big toe joint. And you need very good motion in that big toe joint to uh, allow you to uh, move properly, to uh, absorb shock, your body weight, so it could uh, relieve pressure off your ankles, your knees, your hips, and even your lower back. So once that big toe joint is out of alignment, your whole leg is going to shift out of alignment. You're going to walk differently. So you might have a big bunion, but not, might not have pain from the bunion, but you might have back pain or hip pain or knee pain. And uh, if you don't have any history of any injuries to those joints, it could be directly from your bunion because you're walking differently. So there are all kinds of bunions. They're small, medium, and large. Okay, just like the uh, the three bears, okay? And uh, there are different treatments for different kinds of bunions. You come in with a mild bunion, and it's not really that painful, but you know the big toe signs are drift over. Um, a modification really inside the shoe called an orthotic, especially for your athletic wear, which is a custom insert made just for your feet, to keep everything in alignment. Now, it won't get rid of what you have, but it can slow down the progression of a new bunion, of a, of a bigger bunion, and prevent maybe an unnecessary surgery down the future. But if you wait too long, and that's the problem. Yeah, let sure. me ask you. Go ahead. Would, would that also prevent, um, because no matter how little it is, as you kind of indicated, I think, um, you keep walking crooked, and then it translates up to the knee. Next thing you know is you have you need knee surgery uh, 20, 30, 40 years later, uh, and even have hip pain. May you might might not need surgery, but you you have the pains and the stuff going on. So would an orthotic um, straighten that out enough to not to make that happen also? Right now, an orthotic is uh, it's not a uh, it's not an arch support. Now you can get arch supports in the, over the counter. This, I'm talking about a custom insert or an orthotic that is an alignment, keeps everything aligned. Like my glasses keep my eyes aligned so I can see. Right. An orthotic keeps your foot aligned, which the foot is the, uh, is the ground floor of the house. And if the ground floor is stable, then the other joints above it is going to just follow through. But the ground floor is like, is, uh, you know, is, is bad and just falling apart then the other joints are going to follow again, and, and they're going to be bad as well. So, yes, by keeping everything in alignment, it will prevent or help, you know, get rid of your knee pain. Now, I see a lot of people call me, I have knee pain, and uh, they either come from another doctor and they need a pair of orthotics, or um, they just come in and we help them. As long as the knee pain is not primary, meaning you had a skiing accident, accident and you, you injured your knee, uh, that, that's not going to fix that. But if you're just walking around minding your own business, and now all of a sudden years after, uh, years later, you're having some uh, knee pain, it's usually due to the way you walk, and an orthotic will help you with that. Right. So let's go to the next stage of um, of um, uh, the bunion. Of, um, you said there are three. We covered one now, right. uh, which could perhaps be fixed with right. a little bit of inserts or orthotics. Well, let's go with the next one. Right. Once you get... Um, to the moderate kinds of bunions, which is the most of the kinds I see here, because you just let it go too long. Um, you need to correct the alignment. 
and that's through a, a surgical procedure. Um, most bunion procedures, bunionectomies, are um, take about um, just less than an hour to do, outpatient, uh, with uh, under sedation, and you're nice and relaxed. Um, does not require any casts or any uh, crutches, just a walking boot for about four weeks. At that time, um, after four weeks, uh, you get back into your sneakers, and several weeks later, maybe a flat shoe, and several weeks later, into your high heel shoes. So the question I get a lot is, when can I, when will it all heal? And the translation to the question is not when will I heal, the bone will heal in four weeks. When can I go running? When can I uh, go on a trip? Or when can I uh, uh, go back to work? That's what they really mean. So if you have a sit-down job, and most of the job is being sit-down, um, you go back to work in three days. Most of my procedures are done on Friday. I see you Monday morning, and you can go back to work. Um, then, um, you know, um, and then going, then you're talking about like running and exercising. Uh, we're talking about um, six weeks when you can get onto a stationary bike, an elliptical machine. Um, you can do upper body exercises uh, while sitting down almost immediately. Uh, but running will probably take about two months, eight weeks. Um, and that's what we call the moderate bunion procedure. Okay. And uh, most, of my, most of my patients feel great. The most of my patients really do not take more than three to five pain pills after the procedure. Okay. And then we have the, the third stage, which, um, and that's the most severe um, binding. That's when you're like, you know what, this thing keeps on growing. It didn't really bother me, but now it's like getting really painful. The joint's starting to get arthritic, and there's a whole slew of procedures. When you wait to that stage, you're most likely going to need a more complex procedure. Uh, not necessarily difficult, but more complex, meaning that you're going to be in a cast for about uh, four to six weeks. You're probably going to be using crutches. Um, so that's why when you have a bunion, and even if it's not painful, you can prevent the progression by just coming into the doctor's office, getting uh, an orthotic, um, learning, certain, uh, shoe, learning certain things like proper shoe wear for certain activities, um, and prevent getting to that third stage. Because once you get to that third stage, it really uh, can, it, it's not that painful, the procedure, but it can inhibit your lifestyle for about two months. Mm -hmm. No more. Okay. So, nevertheless, it can be fixed. Uh, if it's not it too can heavy, be fixed. it can be fixed with um, orthotics. Otherwise, it might need a little bit of, uh, of surgery, and there are kind of two stages uh, in it. Now, a person who is already in that middle stage, which, is, which you described, and if he for some reason cannot do surgery right away, whether that's financially, whether that's to do you know, ready for a trip, for business trip, whatever. Um, right. Would some orthotic also still help him a little bit? Um, depending on how severe the middle stage is, yes. Sometimes it's, it's too big that if you put something inside the shoe, it puts more pressure on it. But that doesn't mean we have to wait till that person um, can get the bunion done to get some temporary relief. And we can do that with uh, an, an injection, which sometimes lasts... You know, it can last a couple of days, it can last a couple of months uh, or several months, um, padding, um, changing your shoe wear, um, and maybe changing some of, of your activities in the meantime to help you with that. So you can, you can do certain things to help you um, temporarily. So there is some intermediate uh, help there to get you over and maybe, as I said, come back from your business trip or um, start saving up for it or whatever it might be. Wonderful. Correct. Good news. Bye, Dr. Whitney. Brilliant.